Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for joining me today for yet another care package video here on the channel. The generosity of this amazing community here on YouTube, it just never ceases to amaze me. I feel like every week I am getting something in the mail uh, from some generous person out there. Uh, and in this case, that generous person is Dan over at Ol' Sarge Collects here on YouTube. And as always, I will leave a link below can see the channel name here on the index card in front of you. Awesome channel, awesome individual. Um, I am not just saying this because I received the care package from Dan. And as proof of that, you know, I've already shouted out Dan's channel in the past uh, when I did a shout out for my 700th video here on YouTube and called some attention to some channels that I think deserve more love. Uh, his was among them and his collection and his approach to the hobby is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this guy should have like 3,000 subs, and I do think he will with time, um, just because the quality of the collection that he's building is insane, and the subject matter uh, and the depth and breadth of what he covers on his channel is absolutely inspiring to me. Um, it's just really, really cool. So Dan reached out recently. Uh, we've gotten to texting, kind of getting to know each other a little better, talking the hobby. It's been awesome. And he mentioned that he had a few cards uh, from watching my channel here that he knows would be a fit for my collection. So I haven't looked at these yet, um, but I did just pull them out of the um, kind of priority flat rate box that they were sent in. Looks like a little stack here. So a few cards indeed, but we're gonna start as we always do with the note. And again, you know, I just, I sound like a broken record, but I can't advise you enough to go subscribe to Ol' Sarge Collects. Uh, I mean, in just a few videos, you could see a card of the Titanic from before it sank. You could see some 1930s baseball cards and, uh, you know, something from the 1800s. Um, that's not kind of out of the realm of what's the norm over on uh, Dan's channel. So just an amazing collection. So let's take a look at this note. Um, this is cool. So um, Shane, hey, I just wanted to show you some appreciation for your channel and the great cards you share with us. Thank you so much. Uh, enclosed are some cards I feel would fit into your collection. There's some shiny cards, gold cards, old cards, and a little bit of everything you like. Before, re this is new, before reading further, take a look at your new cards. Okay, so this is pretty neat. So I've never had like a, a letter that I'm supposed to read alongside uh, the cards. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like we're gonna play uh, game of six degrees of Kevin Bacon, or six degrees of separation. The idea that, uh, as the note says, everyone is connected within six degrees or less. Um, so let me open this up, and I'm going to kind of just take a quick peek at these off camera. <laughs> this is so awesome. Um, so I can follow along with the note. So uh, let's get started. And it looks like this card, which is really, really cool, is how we're gonna start off. So check this card out. This is just too cool. So 1987 tops, Mike Morgan, and this is the 2017 Rediscover Tops buyback of the of the 87 Mike Morgan. Now this is cool for a variety of reasons. Um, for those of you who haven't been over to Dan's channel or don't know this otherwise, uh, Mike was uh, an uncle of his growing up. He played for a ton of teams. He was actually known for bouncing around between teams uh, at the MLB level. And I think when he retired, maybe had the record for most franchises uh, having played for uh, during his playing career. But Dan was able to tag along and see his uncle's games when they were in town, meet a lot of the athletes. Uh, he did a great VR for Scott at Stukes Collectibles uh, on his experience with his uncle and meeting other players on his uncle's team, including Hall of Famers and has some great autographs and things like that. So this is a very fitting um, card to find in this package. Super meaningful um, to get a Mike Morgan buyback from a relative of Mike Morgan who shared some of those awesome experiences here on YouTube. This is so cool. And uh, hopefully this will make my Franken set binder in slot 546. We'll check that out after. But even if it doesn't, um, it'll be preserved in this one touch and uh, kept in my buyback box, and it'll always remind me of uh, Dan's channel and his generosity in sharing this with me. Now, as far as the six degrees of separation or six degrees of Kevin Bacon, the note here says, uh, in 1987, the year this came out, Mike Morgan's manager was Dick Williams, a Hall of Famer. 
um, very famous baseball manager. So that's the first degree. In 1967, Dick Williams managed the Red Sox, that impossible dream Red Sox team, and Carl Yastrzemski uh, during that amazing year. So now he's connected to Yastrzemski, Yaz, uh, with two degrees. The year prior, in 1966, Yaz was Boston teammates with a young pitcher named Joffrey Brown. So we've got a third degree of connection to Joffrey Brown. In 1975, Joffrey Brown played the role of an all-star baseball player in the movie the Bingo Long Traveling All Stars and Motor Kings, along with James Earl Jones, which is the fourth degree. And then James Earl Jones, who obviously starred as or voiced Darth Vader, uh, co starred with Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, as a fifth degree of uh, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> and uh, so uh, the reason that is important and that fifth degree matters, it looks like in this package, if I take this out, Oh, wow. So yeah, he along the way, he included some of the degrees of Kevin Bacon. So I mentioned Yaz, you know, being the uh, third or second degree connection. And here's a beautiful Kellogg's 3D Yaz card in great shape with no cracking either. That is a gorgeous copy. I'm going to put that one up in the background for sure. Along with some of these other cards that reminded me of Dan. Um, I have a Star Wars card actually out here, even with Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker present. And Dan also has the entire Wizard of Oz set that this header card comes from. And uh, he did an entire episode on that after I showed off my header card. So just another thing we have in common. And then obviously the, uh, the tie with James Earl Jones going all the way to Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker. We have a couple of Star Wars cards in here as well. From the T206 Star Wars release, we have the Luke Skywalker. And this is awesome because I don't have this base card, I don't think. I believe I only have the blue Starfield version of this, but how cool is that? T206 Luke. And then this card from Star Wars Galaxy Chrome, which is a refractor featuring Luke and Vader for that last level of the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Um, and then another connection, and according to the letter here, Mike Morgan and Yaz have is that Morgan gave up Yaz's 3000th hit in 1979. How cool is that? Did not know that. And then lastly, Mike Morgan was teammates with Cal Ripken Jr. on the Orioles in 1988 and 1989. And check out this crazy gold embossed Cal Ripken Jr. card. I have never seen this before. No idea what this is. Bleachers card. It's got a serial number on the back here. Copy 19752. So maybe this is limited to like 20,000 copies. But even the back is embossed as well. 23 karat gold. Cal Ripken Jr. card. How awesome is that? Dan loves, I know, uh, knows I love gold. Uh, so that's perfect. And also Ripken was one of my big players of my youth in terms of uh, favorite players that I collected my first time in the hobby. So yeah, really cool. That's the conclusion of the note from Dan. Nice signature there as well. And it was fun playing along there with the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Uh, but in addition to that, I have two stunners here. Uh, so one of the big things you'll see on Dan's channel that I love, he gets into all kinds of amazing, like super old cards, pre-war, tobacco, even 1800s. And that's why I had this card in the backdrop before it got covered up. This is my uh, 1888 Duke Cigarettes Bad Decision by the Umpire card. And this is the type of card that you would definitely see uh, on Dan's channel, Old Sarge Collects, just amazing variety. And it looks like this is just unbelievable. He was kind enough to gift me two cards, and I believe both of these come from the 1800s. So let's start with this one. This is from the Duke's Cigarettes Postage Stamp Set, I believe it's called. Look at this. These, I want to say, I should have looked it up. Well, I mean, I guess I wouldn't have known this was incoming, but I did just recently watch a video that Dan had did that included some of these. I think they're from like 1889 or 1890, but how awesome is that? Got any Dukes stamp cards is the caption down on the right. So it's like, these are kids from the 1800s asking if, uh, asking their friends if they've got any cards. Like, I love that. It's almost like a 1800s card that pays tribute to card collecting. So I uh, saw, I think maybe this exact card on Dan's video 
And there was at least one other that referenced cards as well in the caption and uh, had mentioned that to him in a text that I thought these were so cool and uh, he had an extra to send. So, I mean, I'm just stunned. Let's take a look at the back. Check this out. Postage stamps packed in Duke's cigarettes. We pack in each box of our cigarettes one of this series of 50 handsome picture cards illustrating mail matters. <laughs> Postage and mail related matters from W. Duke and Sons. How cool is this? Man, love it. This is right up my alley. In fact, uh, just to my left here, I have this kind of crazy card as well from Players Cigarettes. Like I love this kind of oddball, just totally random, super old stuff. So honored that you would send that to me, Dan. And then we're gonna finish off the package with this card. This is uh, man, my first ever 1800s Allen and Ginter card. So we all know the Allen and Ginter brand in baseball, which was begun in 2006. And I think most of us know that it's paying tribute to some original, very old tobacco cards that came out in the late 1800s produced by Allen and Ginter. And in fact, Dan on his channel, I don't mean to keep gabbing, but I'm just so fascinated by his content. Uh, he showed recently the Old Planter, which is the logo of the guy smoking the pipe that's been adopted by Allen and Ginter. He has the actual Old Planter Allen and Ginter card from the 1800s, which is beyond cool. But he also has some of these uh, that I'm about to show, and he sent me such a meaningful one here from the flags, the state flags release which I want to say is from 1888, the same year as that Duke's umpire card that we looked at a moment ago, the Rhode Island state flag. Little Rhodey. Look at the colors on this. I mean, this card is, what, 130 some odd years old now, and it looks amazing. This is my home state. Um, I've never even considered picking up this card, although I absolutely would have had I known this was out there. And this is just super, super thoughtful and so appreciated. Uh, I know Dan showed some of these from a recent submission that he did to SGC uh, from the state that he lives in now, Louisiana, and I think maybe his home state of Texas as well, his original home state. But to get the Rhode Island card from his set, this is just beyond generous. I'm blown away. I mean, this is easily one of the oldest cards anybody's ever sent me as a gift and it's just as someone who loves old cardboard old non-sports just like dan does uh, this is an absolute home run uh, gorgeous card that i will always cherish here's a look at the back that lists all the states that are included in the set and territories in some cases because this was that long ago um just awesome Dan, um, I don't know how to properly thank you. I will, of course, reach out, um, you know, via text or even give you a call probably just to convey my extreme gratitude uh, for your thoughtfulness and sending me these cards. It certainly wasn't necessary. I know you know that, but um, you hit an absolute home run. I'm kind of at a loss for words and a little bit stunned here. And we're, you know, past the 13 minute mark. So I suppose I should wrap up. Um, but I just want to make one more plea please go visit Old, Old Sarge Collects, give Dan a sub, and you will see uh, one of the most creative um, and just beautiful, colorful, amazing collections that you've seen here on YouTube. And obviously, you know, meet somebody who's just an incredibly friendly uh, and awesome part of the community here on the platform. So Dan, huge thank you. And to everyone else, I really appreciate you stopping by to check out the video. And I'll be back in the very near future with some more content. Till then, enjoy the hobby and stay safe. See ya.